Hello you all, welcome to Olive Board. My name is Lakshmi and I'm here to discuss the NABAD's annual survey 22 -20. As far as this survey is concerned, you can uh, download the survey's PDF from official Olive Board uh, Telegram channel. Other than that, if you have any query regarding the channel, you can contact me over here. If you have seen the survey or if, if you have heard about it, then this survey is roughly around 250 pages long. So you don't need to read all the 250 pages word by word. I am here to bring, you, I have bring the, this survey for you only. You can download this survey and have a revision of that multiple times before the examination as this survey is one as well. This is the marathon session uh, timetable which we brought for you. Very beneficial. Please do uh, take a screenshot of this and attend the sessions. It Mark my words, it will be very beneficial. Other than that, let us now start with the survey part. So, in the survey, there are approximately, there are altogether 10 chapters. We will deal uh, ch the survey chapter wise. I have brought a summary uh, of this chapter wise only. Now, let us see what is the first chapter talk talking about. The first chapter is actually discussing about your uh, analyzing the last three years. It says that in the last three years, global economy has slowed down because of multiple factors. Number one factor was your COVID 19. Yes, it has uh, 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 slowed down the glo global economic growth rate. Then the climate change, the disruptions that are being caused by the climate change is also a, uh, is also a reason that why global economy is at par. Other than that, supply chain disruptions basically the Ukraine war that is also a reason. High inflation because of uh, if there is moderate inflation, tell me uh, what is uh, the inflation value or the moderate inflation value as decided by our MP for India. But if the inflation is too high, it is not good for the economy because of which. The central bank got, goes for monetary tightening. Because of the monetary tightening, the borrowings become expensive. If the borrowings are becoming expensive, credit rates are uh, uh, credit uh, interest rates are rising. Credit becomes expensive and businesses expand. So, in a way, global economic slowdown being seen in the last three years. If I talk about specifically, yes, global uh, has been robust. We have come out of COVID nineteen disruptions. India's growth rate was 7.2 percent but when I talk about globally it was for the financial you need to remember this data this is very important. If I talk about inflation, inflation was also uh, higher why because of the oil prices rising oil prices and oil prices have a domino effect or spillover effect over other sectors as well therefore uh, inflation rate in India is high. Globally also it was high because of all the disruptions uh, we have already talked about. Next thing, NABAD report on the very first page suggests that what is the reason for India's robust growth rate? It says that one of the main reasons your capital expenditure, which has 7.4 percent, and it is further envisioned to be increased. That is what is boosting the and long term growth of the economy. That is what the report suggests. Next thing, India's gross value added at constant price is 7 percent. Remember this. The sectoral uh, di uh, differentiation is also given for industrial sector for agriculture side it was 4 percent service sector 0.5 percent. Other than that what is the real agriculture GV it was gross value added was 22.3 lakh crore very important data remember this. Next thing if I talk about specifically uh, your food grains part then you can have a look at the data the data says that the cereals production of cereals uh, was 303 million. The production of uh, pulses has on, also increased uh, minutely. Earlier it was 27.3, now 27.5. You can have a look at this. Cereal production has also increased. You can have a look. But I would sincerely ask you to remember the data which is related to your commodity crops. That is your sugarcane because sugarcane production has touched a record high. Because there are some changes. Hai, you need to remember this data. It is 49.2 million ton. Then oil seeds production has in also increased to 41 million ton. Uh, if you know scheme which is related to your oil seed production, please write down its name in the comment section and also comment what is the year in which this was launched. But there is a catch that juiced and mesta production has decreased. Cotton production though it has increased from uh, previous year by 10.4 percent, but uh, it has remained below the earlier levels. The report suggests that it is basically due to two reasons. One is pink ballworm infestations and the other is low crop yield. India is also ranked at 42nd number globally 
you need to remember this data as well in your cotton production that is what India's rank is now if i talk about the livestock sector livestock sector has also a positive growth of 6.1 percent from this financial year and this livestock uh, stock sector has uh, the gva uh, the gva is your 0.2 lakh crore you need to remember this india continues to be the largest milk producer in the world but in the last three years you can see the growth rate of this increase the increase in production rate of your milk has decreased the growth rate come away halaki total production is increasing why is this growth rate decreasing for that the report suggested because of two things one is your limpy skin disease other thing is the inadequate investment specifically in the animal care nutrition and replenishment of livestock that is what the report said so all in all our livestock sector is going uh, doing well we just need to our investment and the uh, diseases which are prevalent in the cattle next is about the credit growth in the agricultural sector the institutional credit in the last 5 years uh, have seen a double digit growth you can have a look at this credit growth is approximately 8% you want you can remember this data. other than that crop loan growth if i talk about overall exports for the financial year 2023 the overall exports stood at 776.4 billion dollar you need to remember these data these data are yaad kaise ho port ko pdf ke form download karo aur bar bar dekho yaad ho jayega Merchandise exports it is 451 billion and agri ex exports it is 55 billion. Next, the next chapter talks about your millets. We all know millets are uh, very beneficial for our health. Uh, they are beneficial because they have low glycemic index. Uh, low glycemic index uh, foods are good for those who have uh, diabetes related issue or heart attack or heart related. Next thing is millets are also beneficial uh, because they are water resistant crops. Even if they do not get uh, water, uh, more amount of water they can uh, we can actually grow millet. Apart from that, millets are climate resilient. Thoda baat agar climate mein change then also crop jo hai wo kharaab nahi ho. Now important thing that you need to remember is India is the largest millet producer in the world. Forty four percent of the total production of millets happens in India. Fact is important. India is also among the top 5 exporters of millets in the world. India is exporting millets, maximum millets to your UAE which is 17%, Saudi Arabia, Nepal, Bangladesh and you need to question can be asked from here that which country is as exporting millet to maximum export is happening of millets to which of the following country then UAE is the UAE is the answer. Next thing, when is your millets grown in India? Millets is, is primarily grown as a crop. You need to tell me when is the uh, crop being harvested or sown in the comment section while the area under the millet production has decreased to one third area halaki decrease hua hai but production has increased this shows that the scientific method that has been put in place and better irrigation practices are showing its result next thing well yes millets have enormous benefits we have already discussed but we have seen that there was a steady shift in the dietary preferences why thanks to green revolution towards uh, rice and 1965-70 uh, our Indian food basket had 20% of millets which just 6% last year this indicates a decline of 33.9% let us see what is current trends so if I talk about uh, the trend uh, the last year trend then Rajasthan uh, has the maximum area under Millet cultivation. Rajasthan was also the maximum uh, had the maximum production. If I talk about kilogram per hectare or the productivity side of this, then Andhra Pradesh uh, had uh, uh, produced 2360 uh, kg per hectare of millets. For Jawar, it was again Andhra Pradesh. For Bajra, it was and lowest. Next thing. Why have the farmers now are not choosing millets? This is a very big concern. Farmers are not because of the low margins. The administered price, that is your uh, minimum support price being given by the government, is more for your rice and wheat. So, chahi yahan pe input bahut zada lagta hai. Input is also costly, but still, unko yahan pe profit margin zada milta hai. That is why the uh, farmers are not migrating towards millet. They are still going on with rice and wheat. Other than that, 
मिलेट्स की जो लाइफ uh, होती है शेल्फ लाइफ इट इज शॉर्ट तो इनको प्रोटेक्ट करना एम्पल स्टोरेज फैसिलिटी ऑयल भी बहुत जल्दी होंगे दैट इज ऑल्सो अ कंसर्न अर्बनाइजेशन चेंजिंग डाइटरी पैटर्न हैव ऑल्सो फूड दिस मिलेट प्रोडक्शन वो हॉल्ट वाई बिकॉज ऑफ द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बेसिकली फोकस मेनली ऑन योर राइस वीट अदर सीड I want to ask you one: What are major millets and what are minor millets? Major and minor. Then please take the comment section. Report also suggests some way ahead for supply side. The report suggests that farmers should realize that high prices of millets. Uh, farmers should be given higher prices for the production of millets. In a way, it is saying that MS least for uh, millets can be increased or promotion of uh, farmer produ pr producer organizations other than that stronger processing value that is what the nabard report suggests other thing from the supply side it says that store houses uh, be constructed and a uh, pds public distribution inclusion of millets in your public distribution what the report say next thing is your for the demand side if supply side se dekhne se kuch nahi hoga demand bhi badhani hogi millets ki so what is that saying awareness yes we are awareing people by promoting millets as uh, nutri cereals next millets have been uh, now been used for animal feed as well other than that policy support is also required for uh, this for which government and your nabard is doing various initiative uh, uh, uptaking various initiatives uh, like your branding part taki isko internationally bhi promote kiya ja sake you need to tell me which year is your international year of millets Millets for health and wealth. So this chapter also says talks about your SDG, Sustainable Development Goal. It says that rice and wheat and sugar cane, sugar cane. If we take into account all these three, ये eighty percent of fresh water India का consume कर लेते हैं. So therefore, millets can be a better alternative. Millets can can have millet because millets are climate resilient and as well as drought resilient. That is what the report. these are the sdgs that are being looked after if um, we are actually promoting millets so if i talk about uh, sdg 2 then it promotes your food security because drought is uh, drought resilient hai climate resilient hai security promote if i talk about sdg 3 then good health and well being yes it has low glycemic index other than that decent sdg index uh, which is your 8 uh, Decent work and economic growth. Yes, it can actually help increase the farmer's income. SDG 12, responsible production, definitely because हमने देखा है fresh water ज़्यादा consume कर लेते हैं. सिर्फ ये तीन crops. If we can uh, grow them, them then obviously हम sustainable practices की तरफ जा रहे हैं. Climate change or the climate action millets can help mitigate the food security part. Life on land can also be improved by using this. That is what the report suggests. How is NABARD promoting millets? If I talk about specifically for NABARD, then recently it signed or this Raichu declaration happened uh, with your University of Agricultural Sciences, which is in the state of Karnataka. What happened over here is they have actually enhanced, talked about how can we enhance the productivity and production of uh, your millets and also the income of farmers. For this. they are promoting research and development assistance of rupees 24 crores from ridf which is your rural infrastructure development fund has been given to this university also uh, they are looking forward for uh, more entrepreneurship more startups in the millet sector they are also providing hand holding for uh, in the form of awareness in the form of branding up, uh, by organizing trade fairs also a millet challenge through atal innovation mission has been put in place other than that millet value chain development project is happening in the state of madhya pradesh that is what the report says there is a fund dedicated to your tribal development fund which is now specifically uh, focusing to the millets like your jowar bajra ragi foxtail kodo banyard uh, to actually intercrop them with your fruit trees in the wadis or the orchard this is what the uh, fund is actually contributing to i have already asked you major or minor it at least this example comment section बता देना हाउ इज नाबार्ड प्रोमोटिंग मिलेट्स लाइक सम मोर इनिशिएटिव्स देन इट इज आल्सो सपोर्टिंग वुमेन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स वुमेन एससीजीज को दिस इज प्रोमोटिंग 
promotion of millet based fpos uh, food producer organization so 132 millet fpos with cumulative grant support of rupees crore has already been provided by our nabard nabard is an implementing uh, entity for your adaptation fund under unfcc your national adaptation fund for climate change and direct access entity for the climate uh, green climate fund these all the funds are being in india are being implemented by your nabard that, that is what the report says in your third chapter which starts uh, which uh, talks about the sustainable future so these funds are being used by nabard to augment your ground water to ensure food security to provide economical viability and other things which are actually uh, useful or uh, required for your sustainability once one thing that the report says is about your watershed development fund which was set up by nabard in the year 2000 financial year 2000 with a corpus of 200 crores so the iska corpus 200 crores tha up till now 3673 watershed shed development projects worth rupees 2128 crores sorry word word is missing has already been sanctioned since 2017 Nabard is collaborating with KFW. This is basically a, a developmental bank of Germany, which is implementing integration of watershed development strategies for rehabilitation of degraded soils with climate change adaptation project. So, next thing, what is it Nabard doing? Nabard is also geotagging all the assets. For that, we have a portal specifically known as Bhuvan Portal. This portal is developed by Nabard in collaboration with National Remote Sensing Center, a part of ISRO. You need to remember this as well. What is Bhuvan Portal and uh, who has uh, uh, this been developed by? Portal किसने developed किया है? ये भी एक question. इस watershed uh, watershed development से Nabard question पूछता है. ये उसका favorite section. Under W uh, watershed development fund, Nabard has been supporting spring shed based uh, watershed development. Rejuvenate drying springs. Uh, drying springs specifically. This is being focused on your Himalaya and North regions. हमें पता है शिमला में आए दिन water crisis आता है. इसी को cater करने के लिए this fund is helping. It will help in reduce the drink, drinking water scarcity. Also, it will promote off-season farming for sustainable livelihood to the rural community. Next thing, Nabard has collaborated with IFCO Kisan Suvidha Limited for Smart Important. Smart stands for structured, measurable, articulated, replicable, and transparent. Very important. Please do have a look at this. This is nothing but an agro-based advisory services in regional languages to two thousand twenty-seven thousand five hundred farmers of Kerala and Jharkhand to promote climate resilient farming. You need to remember who is co working with NABARD and what is the smart full form and uh, uh, what are the two states. Next thing. Now, what about the? In, we have uh, read the third chapter, which is your sustainable future. Now, let us move ahead and see what is there in the inclusive development part. I hope you know what is inclusive development. Inclusive de development talks about your livelihood, talks about your skilling, talks about your financial, digital inclusion. Also, it uh, talks about your research and development. So, let us see what is NABARD doing for the inclusive development. अभी कुछ तो हमने देख ही लिया है वाटर शेड डेवलपमेंट कर रहा है. This is also part of your inclusive development only. Sustainability practices. को. This is also inclusive development. But what is NABARD specifically doing for your farmer producer organization promotion? एक तो हमने देखा है वन टू farmer producer organization specifically millet के लिए उनके लिए specific उनको grant दिया है of crores. Now let us see what is more uh, NABARD is doing. NABARD is conducting various several uh, training programs for your FPO. Other than that, it has signed an MOU with the, uh, APIDA, which is your Agriculture and Food Processing Ex uh, Export Development Authority, ताकि export enhance हो सके of uh, your agriculture products. A guarantee fund of rupees thousand crore under NAB Sanskaran. This is a wholly owned subsidy of your NABARD. Has been signed. Is me who on who contribute karta? Then government of India and NABARD matching contribution fifty fifty percent of contribution karte hain. So uh, this guarantee fund has been established, which is actually uh, which has actually provided guarantee cover of one thirty eight crore uh, to seven hundred FPO. What the report says. Next thing. For sustainable agriculture and sustainable aquaculture project, they have collaborated with uh, various uh, softwares. They have come up with various softwares like your FPO Manak for grading, FPO Janak for resource uh, pool as a resource pool for FPO business plan toolkit for uh, helping entrepreneur to develop uh, business model uh, for farmers to actually become uh, 
familiar with the base, basic uh, business tool. FPO MOOC, which is basically a learning module, a self-paced learning module. Next thing, what is NABAD doing for off-farm sector? Farm se alag kya kar raha hai NABAD? Then for the off-farm sector, it is actually has grant assistance of 37.9 crore for the development of 72 off-farm. Uh, this O means off-farm FPOs in 27 states. Obviously, NABAD ka khali kaam agriculture ka dekhna nahi. The rural development dekhna hai. Therefore, it is also, also has a specific fund which is your catalytic capital fund. The corpus hai 100 crores. It is basically to support your rural as well as agriculture businesses. Very simple. Next thing. What is uh, NABAR doing for capacity building of the rural areas? Fund we have already talked about. Capacity building fund. Corpus is 100 crore. Its uh, funding contribution NABAR and SIDB. Other than that, Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange are also contributing. Aim to we have already seen capacity building of various stakeholders. Simple. GI tag. GI tag ko dilwane mein bhi, geographical indication tag ko dilwane mein bhi, it is helping. You need to tell me which ministry in India actually gives your GI tag. NABAD facilitated the GI certificate 21 products. Some of the products were directly written in your report. So, kyunki report mein directly written thai, yahaan se the question aai sakta hai. The first thing was your Banda Shahar Pathar craft, which is of Uttar Pradesh, bone painting which is of Madhya Pradesh, Ujjain Batik print again Madhya Pradesh, Ladakh, wood carving Ladakh and Kari Ishad, uh, Kari Ishad mango of Karnataka. Ladakh ka to mujhe nahi lagta aega because usme naam hi hai par baaki aa sakte hai. I want to also ask you, GI tag jab milta hai to iska tenure kitna hota hai? Iski expiry, matak, kitne lambe time ke liye aapko GI tag milta hai? You need to write, write that. Also, please mention over there only, first GI tag, first GI tag kisko mila tha? Now, what is uh, NABAR doing? We have actually reached to our fifth chapter. We are already halfway. Let us see what is NABAR doing for your rural infrastructure. Uh, for your rural uh, growth, that is what the chapter talks about. It says that there is a fund. Abhi humne kaafi fund ke baare mein pehle baat karti. Ek tribal fund tha. Aur abhi capacity building fund bhi tha. Now it is your rural infrastructure fund. It was created in the year 1996. So uh, the, uh, recently, in this year, financial year 23, project worth rupees 4,074 crore were sanctioned for your Jaljeevan mission and this much fund was given to your PM Yojana. So, RIDF fund ka use ka for development. But this uh, RIDF fund se agriculture ko 43% loan ja raha hai, rural connectivity. Connectivity by that, I mean roadways, railways, highways, unko 36% and rest 20 going towards your social sector. This is what the uh, RIDF fund is. So, distribution this graph is showing that next thing is long term irrigation fund if i talk about long term irrigation that is also being there uh, was set up in the year financial year 2017 other than that micro irrigation fund is also there this micro irrigation fund was announced in the budget 2020 uh, with the initial corpus of 5000 crore what is this doing micro irrigation projects it is funding NABAD infrastructure development assistance is also there. This uh, development assistance was recently used because it has uh, increased the scope of funding by this PPP model. NABAD infrastructure development assistance, if I specifically talk about then this is the division of where the assistance is going. Basically, maximum assistance is going towards your education part only. Next is your teacher, then your technology, then Next thing is what? So, this fund is not going to be managed. But you have to do dairy infrastructure development, fisheries infrastructure development. This is a fund. You have to do static department. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Your FIDF, your DIDF, and if you have to do it, you have to do it. You have to do it in the comment section. Next thing. Chapter 6 talks about your credit planning or credit delivery specifically to your uh, rural areas for financial So, for that, sugar ethanol portal was, uh, was developed for your interest subvention. Kisan Bhagidari uh, Prathmikta Humari uh, means prioritizing farmer uh, participation campaign. This was also uh, launched. This campaign ka focus kya tha? to provide KCCs, Kisan credit cards to all eligible farmers. See, I am not discussing here KCC. I have already discussed in your marathon session and also I'll be discussing again in upcoming. 
KCC card interest subvention scheme was also being launched and this is being monitored by your NABARD. So therefore, by all these means, NABARD is helping in financial inclusion. Chapter 7, देखो उसमें बहुत कुछ था केसीसी के बारे में था बट सब कुछ पढ़ना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव नॉट इंक्लूडेड दैट इन द समरी लास्ट मिनट लेट्स रिवाइज ओनली दैट थिंग व्हिच इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट सो सुपरवाइजरी रोल ऑफ नाबार्ड व्हाट इज दैट सो नाबार्ड हैज एक्चुअली कम अप विद अ विजन ऑफ विजन फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2024 दिस टॉक्स अबाउट योर कैमल एससी व्हिच इज अ सुपरवाइजरी फ्रेमवर्क व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ कैमल आई होप यू हैव रीड दिस ऑफ योर स्टैटिक पार्ट कैमल स्टैंड्स फॉर capital adequacy asset uh, quality management earnings liquidity systems and compliance so the working group of uh, risk based supervision uh, constituted by your nabard recommended that this method should be adopted which is your camel uh, e uh, sorry enhanced camel which is your uh, e c a m e l s c this is what the uh, risk based supervision rbs uh, con uh, constituted by your nabard suggested Section 35, clause 6 of the Banking Regulation Act empowers NABARD actually conduct the supervision on state cooperative banks, six central cooperative banks as well as your RRB. A question for you all, RRB is ke andar, jo contribution hai, sponsor, sponsor bank hota hai, wo kitna contribute karta hai bank, kitna contribute karta hai, that is a question for you all. Now, if I specifically talk about regional rural banks, uh, which is... Uh, the next chapter uh, about empowering the rural financial agar hum rural financial baat karte to definitely rrb ki baat to sabse honi hi chahiye so regional rural banks if i talk about uh, the report says that 43 rrbs sponsored by 12 scheduled commercial banks are were there in the year uh, on 31st march 2022 92% of the, these branches are in your rural and semi urban areas therefore uh, this is uh, important uh, bank as far as your financial in rural areas is in the year 20 financial year 23 10,890 crore were being uh, in uh, given to your rrbs including government of india's 50 percent share of 5,445 crore rrb had the highest share current account and your saving account deposits so in the current account and saving account rrbs have actually 54.5 percent of share Public sector banks, private sector banks, small finance banks, and other I have noted down over means this data is also high, highest share for RRBs. People to process and policies. What does this say? This is a uh, is under your Pragati 1.0. What is Pragati 1? Pragati 1.0 was being a medium term strategy framework. This framework was for the year 24. Uh, 28 titled Pragati 1.0 Beyond Tomorrow Nabad at the rate 2028. This has seven comprehensive visions, 86 strategies, 86 milestones. You have to have a look at the vision uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. All the visions they have. You can just have a look at this impactful businesses. Then it talks about inclusive growth. Then the vision is of mobilization, uh, enhancing resilience of rural credit, best in class environment friendly, digital, public, and physical infrastructure. Then involve evolving as a robust dynamic and ethics driven institute and vision 7 actually talks about your uh, towards effective internal control and risk management next is the 10th the last chapter the last chapter is about your leveraging uh, finance or growth so nabard india's largest development finance bank recorded a balance sheet exceeding rupees 8 lakh crore just two minutes rupees 8 lakh crore with a growth rate of 5.8 percent in a year so where are these funds coming from? Where where is Nabad getting funds? Nabad is getting funds. Maximum funds. Uh, I have shown you in this figure. So where is the funds coming from? Other than that, the uses of funds. Where are the where is the Nabad using maximum funds? So maximum funds are being used by Nabad to refinance or to enhance your GLC for rural production means give a boost to your rural production and nabad maximum apna fund nearly 53 percent of the funds are being used for that thing only rest rest you can have a look at the graph next thing are uh, the, these are the subsidiaries of your nabad nab kisan was there in news because uh, this bank is actually uh, a leading bank for lending to your fpos 
नब समृद्धि दिस हैज क्रॉस्ड रुपीस थाउजेंड करोड़ टेकिंग अ कंपनी टू द मिडल लेयर अंडर द आरबीआई स्केल बेस्ड रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क आई होप यू नो अबाउट एन बी एफ सी स्केल बेस्ड रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क तो नब समृद्धि विच इज एन एन बी एफ सी हैज एक्चुअली क्रॉस दिस थाउजेंड करोड़ मार्क्स नेक्स्ट थिंग नैपफिंस इट इज एक्चुअली अ फाइनेंसिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ नाबार्ड अंडर नाबार्ड इट प्रोवाइड्स माइक्रो फाइनेंस एंड आर बी आई हैज सर्टनली चेंज सम नॉर्म्स इट हैज सेट दट इट विल नाउ रिप्लेस द इंडिविजुअल बॉरवर बाय द हाउस होल्ड एज द यूनिट ऑफ क्रेडिट डिसीजन दिस नाउ सेज दैट पूरे हाउस होल्ड को कंसिडर करना पड़ेगा बिफोर दिस नैपफिंस इज एक्चुअली गिविंग दम क्रेडिट तो वट इज द एनुअल इनकम द एनुअल इनकम ऑफ लेस देन थ्री लैख इज टू बी देर लास्टली The NAPCONS. NAPCONS is basically the consultancy service of of your NABARD. This was uh, created in the year 2003 to provide consultancy. NAB Ventures, which is uh, NAB Ventures, have a fund by the name Fund One. What is this doing? It has a pooled corpus of rupees 598 crores. You need to remember this data because this was there in your NABARD's annual survey. So have a look at this as well. Then is your NABARD Foundation. Uh, it was registered under your Niti Aayog's uh, NGO Darpan portal. And NAP Sanskaran, we have already talked about NAP Sanskaran previously as well. So NAP Sanskaran का वही वही role है. It actually provides your eligible lending institution the credit. That's all from my side for your NABARD annual survey. I hope you like the session. Uh, for a PDF, I have already told you a Telegram uh, channel of Olive Board. Other than that, if you want to contact me, you can uh, contact me over here. Thank you and have a nice day.